of this lockdown webinar utility and this is my introductory lecture will finish within 2 minutes so year 2020 will remain as the most special unforgettable year in the life of human mankind the current pandemic covid 19 the whole world was at the standstill with nations going into lockdown to stall the virus says relentless march there is no specific data on when the situation will stabilize however the people are learning valuable lessons through this global crisis and life after covid is sure to change for the better protection to garner new mind share the most vital lesson that covid 19 has taught people need to protect their loved ones from the uncertainties of life the time for living in denial of the inevitable past protection covid 19 has shown that irrespective of the social economic background and age eventualities can strike any time nobody could predict such havoc and now people are far more aware of security securing their file families against unforeseen risk the virus will probably continue to exist wearing mask using hand sanitizers and maintaining physical distances are going to be the new normal digitally restructured medical education and the patient care shall be the need of the future aristotle the celebrated philosopher taught it is during our darkest moment that we must focus to see the light thus this is perhaps the right time to look ahead at the expected improvement in the past covid world so a better world is emerging and to discuss the issue and future of this covid 19 post covid life as well as our subject and many other issues there are so many innumerable <coughs> these are the the honorary panelists are invited by me and dr uh aryan chandak and main guide is our respected tanna sir dr santaram shetty sir dr taral nargada sir dr navin thakkar sir indrajit gupta mukesh sain unmesh majan they are all well known personalities i welcome you all respected speaker for this different kind of webinar on lockdown utility message we want to give learn to live with the disease and move forward though we are suffering from many miseries of this disease so i have a special thank to arthu tv team ashok sham and neeraj bijlani and our mentor dr tinna sir and my friend rm chandak who has mooted this idea to have a different webinar on this subject and we have a very eminent guest to enlighten this subject thank you and i hand over the Uh, proceedings to my friend R M Sandal. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Gadi Gone, sir. And uh, how we have structured this webinar is uh, basically we will be having opinion from our eminent faculties how they utilize the lockdown period. And as Tanna sir has said, it is possibly a God sent period where we could re-educate ourselves to share knowledge. and to do many other things orthopedic or non orthopedic in life so may i invite dr tanna sir for his opinion on how he used the lockdown period and what was his learning during this period how he proceeded to manage this period so exceedingly well welcome tanna sir and all of us know lockdown was the time when all of us enjoyed ourselves during the lockdown started appreciating the sunset which was almost never seen by me from my own apart on weekends when i am not working i used to be in the club playing bridge or golf this is the first time in life i saw from my own apartment such lovely changes of sunset i do not have to go to peru to see this sunset here we went travel year long and long distance even in uh, in peru to see this sunset i didn't realize that during the lockdown in my own 
in my own apartment. This is the way I was seeing it. In four minutes, it was changed. The sunset can really give you the pleasure. And for the first time in life, I probably appreciated the sunset as much as I had appreciated during this time. We all think money advisors are very clever. I learned that they also do feka feki. My money is managed by professional Kotak Wealth and Centrum Wealth. They are big people. They won't accept small wealth. During the lockdown, Sensex tumbled down from 40,000 before the lockdown to 25,000, the lowest. I purchased share from 35,000 to 25,000 against their advice. They won't advise. They say, Saab, paisa jayega, itna kya karte ho? What do you doing it? I went on doing it. And now it has come back to 41,500. You can imagine. I didn't work a single patient scene. Only I worked here. I learned nobody is a real expert. This is the time what I learned. Like us, we all call ourselves experts. We all do enough gochis in mistakes, thankfully only once in a time in our surgery. So are these money managers. All knowledge is provisional. Nobody is an expert. We all call ourselves an expert, but genuinely none of us is expert. And this is what I learned a lot. All knowledge is provisional. To a you and me, we call it ourselves an expert traumatologist. But after three months, after three years, the knowledge has changed. Unless I've kept up with it, it is no good for anybody. And that's the reason this all knowledge is provisional and we have to go on doing it again and again and again. This is the first time I realized during this lockdown. I did solo webinars each about four hours, which were there on net along with about 40, 50 more webinars with other colleagues. Now I learned, I was stupid traveling five, six hours and delivering two or three talks of 10 minutes each in live audiences, which at times was only 30, 40 in the hall and the rest were in the bar. And I went there to give those talks. In few of my solo webinars, I was told 3,000 were live and 5,000 visited site later. So now at the right page of 82, I learn that it is futile to travel for such 24, 30 minutes of talk and spend two days at the loss of my pleasure time of golf and bridge in Mumbai. I have decided I shall not travel now for the meetings as a faculty. Hope I remember this when invitation comes. Only reason I may still go is for meeting friends and dancing in the banquets, which I enjoy. In those banquets, I would sing only one song. Kala Kawa Kaat Khaega, such a bowl. We all, you all have heard that. Yes. Now in this lockdown, I learned three more songs. Gandhi Baat, Ladki Aakh Mare, Main Toh Bhel Puri Kha Raha Tha, Main Toh Siti Baja Raha Tha, Tujhe Mirchi Lagi Toh Mai Kya Karu. Probably never get a chance to sing. So I am going to sing it. Sir, we are not getting your voice. voice you not. can sing, sir. You can sing. We are not getting sound from the... Sir, sir he's, 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 he's coming. Waiting. He's 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 This is what I learned. And if ever we meet, I will song these songs when we are having a dancing sessions. But I am sure hardly ever we'll get a chance because as I said, these meetings are now going to be obsolete. The real meetings are going to be obsolete because I think in a real meeting, we cannot achieve the thing what we could achieve in the webinars. For four to five months, I was not working and realized for the first time, that it is not necessary to work to be happy. For the first time, was happy not working. And I learned how foolish it was when I hit slack time during the practice and used to feel disturbed. Why all the patients have deserted me? 
now i am happy all patients have deserted me and i am happy today for the first time i realized you do not need much money at the end of the career and i felt really unnecessary i work too hard to collect that money for my children only i do not need that much money and irony became when i said this to my children and my children said daddy in america we are your rupees probably is not enough in in a dollar terms and in america we are have enough money of our own do not worry spend it away now at the age where i will be spending it away and during the lockdown till today i am trying to find out how do i spend away all that money terrific books non fiction i read during those lockdown many more things of a human mind how it thinks these are the lovely books i think those who are fond of reading the art of thinking clearly by dobeli and the blink how much quite a lot of decisions we do it in a blink we really don't think of things in a blink we decide that dr navin whether he is going to be elected or mr y is going to be elected we don't really think about it very much these are the two lovely books which i read and again i think the highly stimulating work of non fiction when the breath becomes air we i'm sure all of you must have read it normal people time keeper mitch album mitch album is the is the author who had who had written the book um if it is tuesday with more tuesday with more those of you who read this and i heard mitch album in american academy when he came there about all the 25000 delegates who were there they were there in the auditorium there was no place to sit he gave one hour talk he gave that one hour talk in that auditorium and everything was spell bound all of us were spell bound that mitch album said and this is what i remember in 911 when the twin tower was falling down people who were there they phoned up only their relatives their friend their girlfriend their boyfriend nobody came into the picture they only phoned their relatives and this is what it is you realize during the lockdown that you only leave spend your time with your wife with your children with your people who is there and they are the only ones who matter in life in a bridge game in the card game supposed to be very intelligent game for intelligent people more than a chess i have been playing both chess and bridge from my student days in this lockdown i brought my bridge game to a higher level by playing online is still long way to go and reading some terrific books on bridge and as you can see i my most of my time in a lockdown goes into bridge tournaments and as navin knows he used to plan those yes uh, those workshops during my bridge tournament time so that i am be happy to play the tournament he'll plan it at 5 o'clock when i finish that tournament and he will release me at 7:30 when i am going to play my second tournament so, so this that, is what so, i so that we get energized dr tanna <laughs> <laughs> i think it was very enjoyable to do all these things in conclusion what is the dictionary definition of intelligent the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills those who think clearly in different changing times this is where the intelligent people came into the picture new norm after a lockdown must be understood and we must modify our life accordingly that is the work of our intelligence this is what most of us have learned during the lockdown we all have changed we all have done good exercises we all have read enough things we try to do some uh, good work in our own self with our living with our family hopefully comfortably and peacefully till now google baba ko yaad karte the now also the amazon is coming to the category anything now you know amazon baba jinda baba my television conked out and it came online on amazon hair trimmer i purchased from amazon my wife learned to cut my hair and i learned to cut her hair for 8 months i have not been to the barber saved a lot of money learned the art of hair cutting which was i think it was really enjoyable everything is available online even sex you can see this india was the first to start selling fruits and vegetables online this is what it is <laughs> thank you friends i think i have been very happy god gave this um lockdown to us 
and it has been still i am enjoying the lockdown though i have started my work in a little way but still i enjoy this walk this lockdown very much thank you very much thank you very much sir and uh, and we really appreciate the way you enjoyed the period and way you utilized the period and you still keep yourself so active there is lot to learn from all those experiences this 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 period has also given for retrospection that what we were working for the patients benefit day and night is not worthy is not it worthy. is you yeah. have it is the and, life and, yeah. that's true. what you say is absolutely true yeah. that's true Very because we are not the sovereign of all the patient those who are coming from our strata there are so many people to serve these people that is a notion If I and don't treat the patient, what will happen to the patient? Nothing going to happen. You absolutely not... true. Absolutely true. There are enough competent people who can do the same oh. job which you don't have to do. You enjoy yourself. That's it. Yeah. <clears throat> so I just want to ask one question to you, sir. Because there was no barber, you started doing, you know, hair cutting. So what happened to your patients, sir? Because there was no doctor Tanna available, they became doctors, or how did they manage their illnesses? Who the hell cares about it? <laughs> it doesn't matter. As I yeah. said, there are enough young people who wants to work. They were working during the lockdown. ये देख लो चंबक साला अभी भी दो बजे तक काम करता है. Taral, Taral, people think that you are a purchasable commodity. If you <laughs> think that uh, you are the only thing, otherwise they will come to you. If you are not there, they will go to somewhere else. Yes. We only think that what will happen to that patient and whether I don't treat, I would I would have done it better. That is your thinking, your perception. Exactly. Suppose whatever maybe you are a very uh, top Khan surgeon or a very famous surgeon. Suppose if you close down your door, next day he will go to somebody else and you probably will criticize. That I said this uh, uh, earlier also, Doctor Dolakia. During his lifetime was forgotten, and now nobody remembers Doctor Dolakia. At that mm. time, Doctor Dolakia, Doctor Dolakia was a big, big thing. Mm. None of us are really that. Oh yeah, yes, the Karigun has said all of us are perishable. Nobody is immortal. Yeah. Nobody is immortal. immortal. Absolutely. <clears throat> Thank you, friends. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, may I invite uh, Doctor Shantaram Shetty sir to please enlighten about how he. Uh, sees the for uh, coming period and the covid period and what are his uh, take home points and learning points please sir yeah good evening it was uh, enlightening to hear dr kanal jishu and uh, very good evening to dr chandak and uh, vasudev and all the all the all the members in the team so after uh, the eliminating lecture of dr tarna it is uh, it is difficult to difficult to translate my words but i will do my best to see what what i have what i have done in this uh, difficult period of nearly nearly 7 months well it was on 17th of november just i am going back to history that uh, in 2019 that china announced that there is a virus called corona and they traced it to the wet market of wuhan and uh, unfortunately who slept on though they china had informed and only in the last week of december only it took 5 weeks for them to announce and announce that it is corona is called the covid 19 because it happened in 19 and once it announced they did not give the seriousness of this particular virus and all of us thought it is like ebola or sars or mers it is localized to a particular particular area and uh, we all thought it it is nothing it will go on we will we will live with it but we should understand corona is a misnomer word corona in 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 uh, latin and in in our own sanskrit it means crown and in greek it means garland two beautiful two beautiful words just because it has emanations it was called corona because just it has it is outpouching it was called corona it is a misnomer so unfortunately even even who carried it on to covid 19 <clears throat> then came the first week of february i was in bellary with our karnataka orthopedic association i had i had a, i had a variation dr navin was also there Yes, and we visited Hampi, the famous Virupaksha temple, which you see there. 
one of the greatest heritage centers of the world, which we Indians forget to visit. If you haven't visited, this is the place to visit. And we saw thousands of people, thousands and thousands of people, all from all different parts of the world. And we were mixing with them, we were meeting friends, we were hugging them, we are shaking hands without understanding that there is, there is an underlying underlying corona which is which is threatening. That happened. I came back home. And in the fourth week of February, Dr. Tanna was also there in Jodhpur. We had a Tomocon, a Tomocon national meet and, uh, and, that, and we went to Jodhpur port, which you see there, the port. And it's one of the beautiful ports of our, of our country. And, and uh, must see for any, any visitor, not only for any visitor, for every in, Indian. And uh, there also, it was, it was free mixing night as usual, as Dr. Tanna said, we danced together, we, we drank together, we hugged together, we shook hands together. And, 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 and you know, in the airport, Dr. Tanna will remember, it's a small airport in Jodhpur. There are about 200 people in the, the, and there was no place to sit. And each, each was brushing against each other without, without understanding that is an underlying corona which, which can infect you. We all came back home. We thought nothing, nothing, corona, corona will die off. And we never even thought of it. But it was in the second week of March, suddenly it erupted. It erupted in Italy. It erupted in France. It erupted in Spain, mainly because of their closeness to China, mainly, mainly Italy. And as, as many as almost 1,000 deaths were reported per year, uh, per day. And China reported at that time 80,000 80, infected people and many more deaths. Then the scare came. Then the government of India woke up suddenly and, uh, and our uh, revered prime minister brought out a Janata lockdown on the 22nd of March. Till then, I was working. As Dr. Dr. Uh, Tanna rightly said, I do not know why I was working. I was working till 2 a.m. in the morning and get up again at 7 and go, go to the theater. Even, uh, even, even till March, I, I used to do that. And, and suddenly, suddenly we woke up and that day I said, enough is enough. On 22nd of March, I closed down my clinic and my assistants were looking after. And on the 24th of March onwards, there was a regular lockdown. But it was too late for Italy, Spain and France. The number of people who suffered and died was, was, was unknown. And in the United States, it caught up mainly because of the administrative follies, mainly because the people were careless. Mainly because if you go to the beach, if you go to in San Francisco, our, our friend is there, and, and if you go to any of the beaches in the United States, it was free for all. They did not realize what is, what is in store for them. That's why the highest deaths in any country happened in the United States. In India, we thought buns, just a lockdown will be for three weeks. We were so much used to buns. Every, every week, there is a bun in every city. So we thought lockdown will go on and everything was closed and it was, ex but unfortunately after three weeks, it was extended to two months. It was mainly because of disciplined people. It was a shame to see liquor shops when it was open. The queue in Bangalore city was one kilometer long. The queue in, in some of the shops, people were dragging to, to take off their uh, ration for nearly two months was a shame indeed in the market. This happened in every city of our country. What happened to our hospitals? Especially I'm, I'm, I'm involved with the university hospital. I'm involved with my own private hospital, a 200-bedded hospital. From the hospital which was full, suddenly came down to, from 200 to 20, 20 patients. It happened to every one of us. It, is, it, was, it was a natural phenomenon. We, we had to discharge because we did not want to operate. And it was a common for all of us around the world. And it was a not, a, not only an economic problem, but it was a moral obligation to each one of our staff that we have to, we have to do our best to them. My problem was what to do the, uh, the next seven days. I thought it will last for seven or three weeks. I did all my pending work, I, the, which, I, which, I, which was all pending, banking, contacting friends from different places. And I, for the first time in my life in 50 years with my wife, I started cleaning the house even every corner. I was, I, was, I was lonely at home. All the old papers, old clothes were disposed of. The house became clean. I have a nice garden around my house and the garden was trimmed me, by me and the garden started blooming. So this is, this is an advantage of living in small places unlike Dr. Tanna who, 
who, li who lives in a skyscraper looking at the sea, I look into the trees and the garden around. I used to sleep just for six to seven hours of sleep. First time in this COVID time, I slept for eight to nine hours and overslept. For the first time in 50 years, I spent my evenings at home. Just as Tana was looking at the sea, I looked at the birds in my, in a, in a neighbor's garden. And back into the nest, the, 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 the birds running back, flying back into the nest and the butterflies in the garden and the chirruping birds early in the morning. Were a delight which I never, never released in my 50 years of life in Mangalore. I'm, I'm a keen enthusiast of sports. I know every, every cricketer, IPL if you name it. I know every cricketer of the world. And I know the football league. I know the, the Liverpool team very well. And the English and the, and the, and the European league and, and the French. And I, for the first time, though I had represented my university in tennis, for the first time in my life, I completely watched the finals and the semifinals of the French Open and uh, this time. All the three to three hours I was, I was sitting in front of the That gave, the COVID gave me an opportunity to see. Though the finals the, between Nadal and, and Djokovic was, was a one-sided affair, but still it was, it was a great pleasure to see these players, what they are today, even in COVID times. Well, what to do? The two weeks passed and the three weeks passed, I was idle. Then suddenly, like Dr. Tanna, I was just thinking, instead of reading books, I thought I, will, I decided to write books. Though I've written a few chapters and uh, my own in orthopedics in different, in different fields, I thought I should, I should write general books of my own interest. And I started writing on COVID, which I already published and released. And I wrote a book on orthopedic, orthopedic patients and yoga. I have been, uh, I have, though I have read extensively on yoga, I have never practiced it. But COVID gave me an opportunity to practice yoga and what to do and what not. What are the importance of pranayamas and, and, uh, and, and the different aspects of yoga? Different, and this beautiful book is, is coming out in a week's time. And uh, I've, I've, I've written a book on stem cell in orthopedics, which will be released, ethics and philosophy in orthopedic practice, and chapter on implants and my own autobiography. COVID gave me an opportunity to sit, which I never, because sitting at home, this was the best opportunity. You are, you are alone with your wife, nobody to disturb. My wife gives me a cup of tea whenever I, whenever I require it and, and give, gives me a lunch. And I went on sitting and writing my books. And virtually, I have taken part in 24 webinars all these, all these four months. And every week, a virtual, virtual university meetings with my staff. Sitting at home, I did all my work. And COVID gave me an opportunity how to spend time usefully. Three months locked time, August 16th, and I went back to the clinic again. I always loved, allowed to work, so I went back to the clinic again. I just work, worked for two weeks and, and COVID came back again, and there was a surge. And I said, enough is enough. And, I, and again, packed my, packed, my, packed my files and came back home. For one more, one more month of forced lockdown, it was not a government lockdown. It was a self-made lockdown till October 1st. And from 2nd of October, Gandhi Jayanti Day, I've gone back to work just one hour, one hour a day in my clinic just to see that I'm working and I'm fit. My theme is just in another three minutes, what is the future? Gentlemen, future will not be the same. Economically, every, every, every country, every citizen is involved. Health-wise, we lost in Mangalore Few of, few of our very dear, very, very dear colleagues, three of our senior surgeons, and many of our friends. Every family has a story to tell. And work-wise, we were widening, but most of us used it very usefully. But we can make a difference. We have paid the price for being too proud. We were thinking we have gone to the moon. Next, we are going to the Mars. And without realizing what are the problems in our own society. We killed animals. We killed birds. We ate snakes and we ate brains of monkeys as a, as, as a delicacy. We polluted oceans, destroyed forests for our own pleasure. COVID has wonders our limitation. Oh man, be careful. You have gone beyond your limits and you are not a superman. The way forward would be 
to be without self without being selfish we forward will be to work hard for the work is to worship that's the only theme in our life take the japanese and the korean examples in the post world war era they have showed to the world that country shattered by world wars i'm in the world war second and the korean war they have bounced back to be the leaders in the in the world in the world today i still remember a story of japan in the recent in the recent earthquake which happened in the in the in the remote in a in a remote island there was it was shattered complete island was shattered and when the when the team came to, to lift them up in the helicopters there was a queue whatever surviving 100 people were standing in a queue so that they can be lifted you go to the market in india you want to grab even a vegetable there are 10 people to grab a vegetable this should not happen we should keep discipline to our people to come forward in our country as for the pew research pew united states research there are only two people here me me and dr tanna who belong to this generation of the pre world war era i mean pre world war and the pre independent era we are called the traditionalists next are the baby boomers like dr chandak dr gadgone and and all the others and next are the are the xyz millennials like like taral 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 and company and and all of you and we have the we are the we are the luckiest amongst all the people as dr tanna said we are the luckiest we got everything we got the best of the education we got everything what we wanted but the baby boomers had to fight a little but they were the best of the scientists in the country were the baby boomers and the, for the xyz they had to really fight and come up but but this covid has shown our limitations that we will have to live and let's live that should be our theme it is left to the younger generation like dr Tal, dr tarel the the pre millennials and the millennials to take the world forward for a place to live and love for a place to live and love and to be economically stable to be morally and ethically upright and it is up to you the younger generation to take forward this great country the question is can we go back to the normalcy my granddaughter was asking me can we go back to normalcy i told her no we can never go back to be normal because we were never normal pre corona days we were never normal we normalized greed or politician started inequity corruption extraction hooliganism political brutality hatred and confusion everywhere the way forward is to live and let live to be human to be compassionate and to be loving we should be world citizens world citizens and in sanctity it is kutumbakam and vaikuntham kutumbakam without disparity of black white and brown rich and poor we should be one finally i would i like to quote this great words of bhagavad gita in the 18th chandra karmanne vadikaraste ma paleshu katachana ma karma phale hetu ma mate sangosha akarmana do your duty and leave the left to law leave the left leave the less rest to me i will look after you god will look after each one of us but it is our duty to do our duty in our everyday life i thank each one of you for giving me this opportunity dr tanna and especially and dr chandak and, and dr gadgone dr navin i wish all the best to you and each one of you dr tadal and dr and each one of taral and each one of you for this great opportunity may god bless you all thank you thank you very much sir for those advice uh, and to utilize the time to the best of possible extent any questions from the faculty members shetty sir tanna sir the wife gave cup of tea to you <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah i had learned to make cup of tea so i had to give my cup of tea to my wife that is that is great that is I, tomorrow i must i must learn i must learn keep making a cup of tea and i do that tomorrow <laughs> so i just want to ask you a question so you didn't see any patients for a long time and first time when you went to clinic yeah you know, and you had to start it all over again what was your feeling you know, was it difficult i was, I was always a work holic unfortunately this show i i mean i i had to i had to use all my all my this uh, the, the all the all the all the safety measures and it was a punishment then i realized how difficult it was for doctor to wear that wear that gown and i used to wear a gown and see the patient i didn't take any chances 
with 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 all the, with all the uh, or and, uh, and I used to wear a governance even mm-hmm. for about an hour. I used to just see about ten patients and come and just for the heck of it I went. But then, as Dr. Tanna said, it is not worth it. At this age, it is you will you will have to see what what life is rather than just patients because we are we are some of us are so much enamored by our patients by our work that the, we we were thinking that is that is ultimate. It is not. Life is something beyond. that you are the, you have a, you have a short time in your life and that is that you must utilize i thank dr tanna for for remind me reminding me again chandram you have you have very less time you keep running now and utilize your time i shall do that in summary your lecture is this we have to learn we have you, the god has given you the opportunity to do something very different from the patient and patient workaholic was yes. your nature my nature also but we have never lived the life and this opportunity has been given by god that you have to live the life in a some different way yes that is that's right taral taral the answer to your question is commonest thing happened to all the orthopedic surgeons is they forgot the dates and the day which day it is when they started writing the prescriptions <laughs> that was the first thing yes 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 <laughs> ಹೋಗಿದ್ದೆಂಟ್ಸನ್ change is change is normal and we will have to you we will have to get used to the change in life antaram yes so oh, you you have made a lot of money like me i have made a lot of money yes do you feel it was worth really making all that lot of money now at this time in covid when nothing was needed all you need to spend was the ex very now, small now, amount of money in the house yeah now i now i feel see the the money is required to to, to live well but yeah. we have all as you rightly said we have made enough of money for 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 the children to enjoy also that's a, that is a different uh, story but still but, uh, at this at this age you realize that you know now now is the time that the uh, covid has taught us that yeah yeah that and is there, in summary and, and there was a video video of the pune builder who had a 1200 crores in his bank account but yeah. how they were throwing their body and nobody is ready to touch his body after covid no That's so very <laughs> true so yeah. that time it re- gets a realization that money is not important whatever you have enjoyed minutes that is that is yours yeah. I, yeah. my friend used to tell so beautifully yeah. it's not whatever is there in the bank which is important whatever you have been able to spend money only that yeah. is important the rest of the money is of no importance so i would say dr shantaram ji is doing yoga so balance is more important than bank balance so so with this uh, concept is there to, to why we are earning and to whom we are going to to whom we are going to earn for right. whom we are going to earn that is also important thing because right. in the fag end of life everything doesn't come under your purview uh, and uh, your relatives everything son uh, daughters whatever it may be that is only we have to go alone and money also does not count very much only limited money is very important as it said tanna sir said i will just take a minute you know alexander when he died mm-hmm. he told his generals uh, before he death when you when you are taking me to the taking me to uh, to the bury me see that my hands are outside usually the hands are kept across the chest or mm-hmm. to show to the world this alexander the great who conquered half the world is going empty handed <laughs> so empty handed just to show that is that is what is what is we go all go empty handed so and, and the so, unlearning is more difficult than the learning because we have learned that our ego is get satisfied once we get the money on that day how oh, aaj to bahut kaam kar diya i know i know i know that's true yeah. i think our ego is satisfied in the hospitals yes, yes. sir good morning sir good morning sir <laughs> yes, yes, yes. we go down on the street it is in mangalore everybody will know santaram in bombay i go down on my street nobody knows who is who am i 
अरे साला देखता नहीं है क्या करता है कैसा गाड़ी चलाता है वो साला वो अपने को माँ बहन के सामने गाली देता है उसको तुम गाली देता है उसको क्यों नहीं मालूम थैंक यू सर तरल कैन यू शेयर यू स्क्रीन सो फ्रॉम अरेंजिंग आई फिक्स वंडरफुली टू फिक्सिंग दी आई सो यू आर गोइंग टू स्पीक ऑन दैट टॉपिक तरल कैन वी लिसन टू योर व्यूज सो इज माई स्क्रीन स्क्रीन या वी कैन सी यूर स्क्रीन so this is about what i did last summer and i just want to say that uh, dr tanna said that you know first time in the evening he could look at the sunset and dr shantaram shetty was looking at the birds but each one to his age you know my wife you in so in birds this is the first time you are looking right, at sir so let me interrupt so we can we are seeing your uh, presenter's view okay just go to the display settings up there and you can have the this is okay uh full screen yeah yeah this is okay yeah, so. this is this is perfect okay okay Go ahead, in fact yeah. my, in so many years my wife told me this is the first time that you had a time to look at myself so it's not about the the sun or the birds it's about your own wife also and uh, i put my degree as fm uh, ftnd it's not full term normal delivery but it's full time non doctor you know that's what all of us became when covid came so this is a work life balance so initially it was work and life was you know on sundays or weekends for dr tanna bridge was the light for me going on treks on sunday was the light it became completely reverse you were working at home doing all the you know, dishes and you know doing things at home and life was actually attending webinars so when navin would give you a call saturday tarah bhi baat karne ka you were very happy because i could tell my wife i'm busy saturday 7 to 9 so i will not be available for any household work so this is about what all you know about what i did last summer and uh, this was one of the things we did was to carry on ifix this is the four team of four of ifix and initially we started with ifix tutorials so you know when the lockdown started and all of us were bored sunday told me that let's start with some basic lectures and then we st started taking lectures every monday on auto tv so not one or two it went on for 16 weeks and then we said let's organize ifix ifix was to be organized in pune and we knew that we are not going to organize it now because you know initially there was 15 days lockdown then a month and two months and we said let's organize a virtual ifix and then we announced it to be done in eight sessions because you know two days in front of the computer everyone would get bored so let's we said we said this are weekend conferences going on uh, for four weeks in a month and we were planning to have some you know faculty so we said you know normal conference we would have two to three faculty for an i fix we hope to few faculty thinking that they would come but to our surprise everyone was free to attend this i fix because it was virtual so from 4 to 5 to 8 we had totally 32 faculty and it was very difficult to you know sort of organize all these faculty into eight sessions uh, and we had you know top class for example david skag number one person on supracondylar he spoke on supracondylar fractures and then we had 50 people from india to accompany for this this was a very special meeting because we had an oration uh, professor slongo came but we had what is known as conference plus a conference was organized by posna pediatric orthopedic society of north america and epoa registration flew in from japan to usa so we had to say good morning to good night when we organized 6:30 in the evening what made ifix different was this ifix treasury we had a series of lectures which were pre recorded almost 50 of them which were presented and this is for example a session on fracture around the knee there were live sessions and recorded sessions and we had question and answers polls and everybody watched it live along with the faculty online through a web, through a, you know webinar uh, sort of a software we also had daily paper so this was a daily newspaper which our delegates got every day one paper which was reviewed from there and this was done on telegram we had a question and answer session for extra time and of course we had e papers and e cases so total 79 papers got uh, you know were were uh, uh, submitted for this conference and then uh, at end of every session we had an ifix quiz so this was not just ordinary webinar 
but you know a different experience but what i really enjoyed was not i fix it was fixing i you know my own self and discovering it and in next few minutes i will tell you what i actually did last summer so this is the gateway to heaven you know the place which uh, we had developed uh, 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 near uh, nashik in bombay but we really hardly had any time to go and as dr shankaram shetty said you know the 21st of march the magic day we were at this place and then narendra modi announced that there is going to be lockdown and we were there for total 52 days i didn't come back to bombay and we stayed here for 52 days this is a place around 181 kilometers from bombay near nashik and it's like next to a lake this is known as zarwad and then uh, this practically lives in you know 19th century the, you know cell phones are are not there there are no dish antennas fortunately we had good net connection it's a beautiful place you know with an island trees lot of greenery and lakes on two sides okay and this is what we started with in 2013 and we worked hard though we didn't have much time to go and enjoy but in 2018 you can see the same house how it has changed this field in 2014 punita worked really on this field and this is how it is in 2020 so first time we really had time uh, to look at our own farm and enjoy this by staying this for almost two months here and the fruits of labor you know dr tanna showed a slide of somebody selling fruits uh, online and what we were getting was completely different you know fruits straight from the tree so you see mulberries you see chikus uh, the the lemon on the left side you know everything straight from the farm on the table papayas you know i have never had such beautiful papayas in my life and we saw the life you know so this is honey bee uh, you know uh, i have just seen pictures but actually seeing it and for the foodies you know the, the most natural food the bananas the tomatoes and all everything available not through amazon but uh, something which is very amazing you know the nature was providing this to us and the size of kakadi you know this is a, a cucumber so big and tasty the pears and mangoes and the passion fruit okay so things which you have had only in childhood the sweet imlis and small avlas and mulberries and cashew um, and and everything which uh, you know i could uh, you know see this is a uh, black pepper which really doesn't grow in our area but we saw this was growing right now and enjoying all this Uh, for Dr. Pan Tanda, especially we enjoy on this palm. You know, after a conference, so especially for you, I have kept this slide. You know, palm straight away from from the Madhya palm. You know, from uh, the branches, and and this tastes completely different. And what we ate, you know, was from farm to the plate. Nothing from outside. Everything which grew on the farm, we converted into a food. I started cooking, which I had never done in my life. Uh, you know, started making salads and. Uh, started looking outside you know so this is opportunity when you start looking outside but also you start looking within what who am i what is purpose of my life who am i earning for what am i working what am i working for is it all worth it these are the questions which come to your mind only when you are you have time after finishing the webinar uh, 10 o'clock at night so you know beautiful white flowers which were always there but we did not have time to look at and these are all photographs i could take you know photography is one more thing which i learned uh, during this time uh, you know uh, this is blue pea tea and uh, uh, a beautiful tea uh, you can make from this and uh, the speciality of this flower is that when you make the tea it is blue in color but when you add lime it becomes pink and changes color so here we were changing our own color you know completely changing our own color during corona times the birds you know dr shankaram shetty spoke about the birds so different types of birds the referencing so the reference books completely changed instead of jbjs you were referring to the bird books and identify which bird was this you know and uh, these birds and the uh, owl here and the butterflies and it was completely different time and the fun had a different meaning the fun was not to go to a bombay restaurant with friends or you know go and dance at night but it was completely different it was you know sleeping on the rice hay and sleeping under the moons and when you sleep and wake up wake up to this sunrise early in the morning sleeping under the sky and these are the pets we had 
and of course yoga you know the fitness i may have lost you know uh, in my bank balance during this uh, uh, time because i did not listen to dr tanna instead i listened to my financial advisors but i also lost a few inches you know in fact after the lockdown all my bags had to you know uh, uh, redone from size 37 i came to size 34 Lost almost 12 kilos of weight. I can climb almost 32 stories of my building now. And fitness came in 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 all the ways, you know. And uh, you know some of the movements. I'm going to just show pictures very quickly. Uh, you know, farming uh, and enjoying the first drop of rain, which came uh, after the uh, during the corona times. And long walks. This is something which I enjoy. You know, just walking. And uh, are my slides going ahead? Yeah, yeah, we can see. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we can it see. It is going. It is going. It is going. It is going. You are walking near the water, uh, going towards the water. So, so long walks when you don't do anything, just you know, you be with nature and your own self. And these are few of the pictures. I'm very quietly going to show you, you know, what I capture looking at the sky. This is something bigger than a golf course. This is something bigger than any of the places I've ever been. You know, going into nothingness. and everything realizing how small we are which has so much to offer and you are very small part of something which is very very big this is what is magic when i do a ddh surgery it's not a magic when i treat a cp child it's not a magic i'm just doing my duty magic lies somewhere else in life all we have learned during this time is to appreciate this magic magic was already there we did not have time to watch this magic and i hope that you know this magic is available to everyone who is on this webinar and watching this webinar and uh, as i end one of the most uh, amazing webinar i did was not on supracondylar fracture or lateral condyle fracture it was on making of a food forest with punita so if you type uh, taran lagda punita sha and making of food forest you will get it on youtube and if you cannot get it just uh, drop me a whatsapp message or email and i will send you a link to this webinar so thank you uh, for uh, giving us opportunity to relive these moments uh, with the work coming up i had almost forgotten that we lived this life but uh, thanks uh, dr chandak and dr garigone that it's a reminder that uh, you know we we have this life which we want to cherish thank you very much thank you karal for presenting karal credit goes to tanna sir because he is the person who is invoked this idea that we must have a something different from the subject and uh, that is his idea is it right sir yes 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 absolutely absolutely <laughs> So the conduct sir tanna sir and everybody gave so many ideas for all the geo webinars <laughs> yes 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 so so, so as tanna sir has put it god sent Uh, gifted period that is yeah. the covid period lockdown period Karel, be careful your <laughs> size which has come down from say 35 to 31 i came down from 44 to 40 40 and slowly went back to 44 now khana pina hai nahi sala daru piyo khana khao and that that is how it is so be careful थैंक यू थैंक यू सर बैलेंस खोया वापस बैलेंस कर लिया यस सो आफ्टर दैट बीइंग विद नेचर एंड एज नेचुरली प्रेजेंटेड बाय तरल वी रियली ऑल एंजॉयड दैट एंड वी विश वी आर सम टाइम एट हिज फार्म प्लेस ड्यूरिंग सम कॉन्फ्रेंस एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा लेटर इन लाइफ सो वेट फॉर दैट इवन इन इन मेनी वेबिनार्स ही जॉइंट फ्रॉम द फार्म Yes. and uh, he was not getting internet connection i had to stop his video and he again spoke everything <laughs> yes that's really absolutely fine at the moment you are in the farm or you are in bombay no i am at bombay at present but i think it's it's fine i think that mindset does continue uh, you know it it changes you and uh, you feel like being in the farm even if you are in bombay do you have a guest house in the farm So we have a house. You're most welcome, sir. <laughs> Anytime. Yes, tell us when you are going. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Thank you so much. And taking you all from the nature to one of the most exciting things we saw during this lockdown period, and that was education at our doorstep. 
at our home on our desktop anytime available and the credit goes to dr ashok sham dr niraj bijlani dr navin takkar any many more who have done this uh, during the lockdown period and may i invite dr navin for his presentation the way he managed the pressures of holding webinar i know getting uh, consent from all the speakers and arranging how he manage all this so navin can you please share your screen and he always helped out all those who had in difficulty how to get the link to zoom and how to join he solved all the difficulties and we doing workshops with him we also learn how to handle all that yes yes i think he is the proponent of mooting this idea of webinars uh, profoundly all over the india it is because of the navin thakkar only because it was this sporadic event but after his enthusiasm it has gone so wild that everybody is now arranging webinar and the credit goes to only and only to the navin thakkar you are muted navin you are muted can you we also can uh, give you some tips now So I think we also advise you, Navin, to unmute yourself in order to speak. So Navin, you are muted. Navin, today is in my hand. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. Yes, in my hand, in my hand, I am. In your computer, you can put in the mic and do this. What you were advising us? Yes, 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 sir. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you can hear me, ne, sir? Yes. थोड़ा ज़्यादा मंगता है. हाँ. थोड़ा ज़्यादा मंगता है. तो मैं ज़्यादा कर देता हूँ. ज़्यादा कर देता हूँ. You are speaking too loud, Navin. I mean, the volume, I mean, volume कम किया था, sir. I mean, कम किया था. हाँ हाँ. Yes, yes. Because now you can say, "Am I seen? Am I audible?" Yes. Now it is good. Yes, it yes, is good. Yes, yes, it's good. Good now. No harm. Thank you. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh -huh. So uh, I am very much thankful to all. It is a team work, sir. It it cannot be done by a single person. When the story started, Abhi stories. Today, sir, baat karta hai. Ah, nahi nahi, sir, nahi nahi. Aisa baat nahi karta hai. It is it is truth. It is truth, sir. Story started from the Goa con February Rajkot when. we announced in the gbm of 24 online academic programs when i took a oath as a president so purchase the license version of the zoom first time so everybody suggested that the zoom is better so i purchased i worked around that for uh, february itself uh, when i became uh, around uh, 12 or 13 february and suddenly on 22nd as everybody said uh, that uh, dr uh, narendra modi declared the janta curfew and just before two days it was declared so i immediately rang to uh, dr siva dr gade gone sir and tanna sir i was not knowing that tanna sir has been operated for total knee replacement or unicondylar knee replacement he said okay i will come but he is he, he, he did not say that uh, he has been operated the day when the day came the time approach because we kept it at 4 pm first time because at 5 pm there was a thali bajao program by uh, all this in favor of doctors uh, for uh, that uh, corona warriors so when i rang him in the morning navin meri tabiyat sahi nahi hai i am getting some pain and discomfort maine bola kya hua sir what happened to so, i have operated been maine kaha acha sir to mere ko 1 ghante pehle bolna to main declare karunga sir then before one hour i got a call from him i will do it and he, i still remember he was holding something to uh, sit there and he sit exactly at the computer where he is and it was the first webinar and it went very well fantastically it, it went uh, maximum viewer we got that at time and still it is viewed every time it was on extra articular uh, proximal tibia fracture and every presentation was good so it is a team work then i when i started then the, all the office bearers also geared up to help the course uh, we all the moderators were lined up of all the speciality arthroplasty elizarro arthroscopy all trauma everything 
and we were started getting feedbacks from the delegates and the faculty and the subjects were discussed immediately on that day i got a call from dr vikas agase how i did differently it will be the right thing and we'll be having a case discussion so immediately i kept that i he said that i am talking to mangal mangal will come this fellow will come this fellow will come so immediately everything was gathered and momentum picked up it was really a new experience how to set up the telecasting setting and testing so i took much time because i was not known to telecast completely with the youtube and all that zoom through this to not to make the mistake meanwhile i made a website of geo webinar and that worked very well for us it was a new experience to know zoom in the detail there was ample time but still there were responsibilities but daily we have to make the that uh, flyer also ourselves and we have to mobilize that flyer so that the maximum viewers get here uh, we got the help from the ortho tv also it was a new experience how to explain the faculty how to join how to share the screen so i must have uh, spoken 1000 times green lower button hai there is a green lower button click that button see our face select that screen after some time because dr tanna sir was almost every time he start speaking wo button wahan hai aise dabao aise dikhega aap navin aisa bolne wala hai so that was a real enjoyment bandwidth issues were there with certain faculty so i had to collect the presentations and present from my side new ideas were floating late night working to disseminate the message for the next webinar was, was continuously doing new time started when the international faculty were ready and to adjust timing timing with them in a different time zone the first was the scaphoid which was moderated by dr sudhir warrior and had a multi time zone to adjust australia uk usa and we designed that way that will start at this time so that we can adjust one by one faculty and it went very well and the viewership was more than 6000 at that time live at that time not the later on viewers and dr sudhir has helped every moderator has helped to make the program perfectly well and they choose the faculty very nicely and this was the demystifying scaphoid injury you can see the uh, international faculty who has written the books and who has given their original articles in all the journals so it was a very fruitful experience i learned a lot i got a call from the juniors that today we have done uh, non union scaphoid after seeing these on the big screen on a smart tv we saw it we stopped it we saw it we stopped it we written down all the steps and we did it and these are the x rays we are sharing so i was getting so many whatsapp uh, material of the people and from there also i presented certain things Uh, to include their participation also and then again dr sudhir warrior added the flavor by calling sachin tendulkar on that day it was more than 12000 online uh, people were there may not be all the orthopedic surgeons maybe physiotherapist also because the physiotherapy of the indian cricket team and ipl was also there presenting dr dd tanna sir i must say helped in almost all webinar with his great inputs learn to listen to others what i learned is from him is he listens very carefully each and every points learn to accept others logical things points and options so that i learned initially i was very fast in talking but i learned slowly that we have to listen listen and listen then and then it will come to mean uh, otherwise i will miss the point what whatever the faculty is telling and i will not be able to moderate very well started learning the multitasking because the questions were coming on the slido window on the facebook because we started multi streaming also to involve the much audience make their audio and video also include within the webinar so that they feel they are participated so they were very much enthusiastic to give their inputs also what their experience also and that also we could include so we are very much thankful to all the delegates and the uh viewers and when the uh, 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 professor uh, uh, javed accepted the invitation for uh, periprostatic joint infections and it was very well synchronized with the ortho tv to spread the academics of the, all their groups 
that day it was 6875 viewers online uh, and it was a fantastic uh, material which is international class then gradually i started to learning the multi -tele telecasting because people were uh, asking for facebook uh, that they can see in the facebook also so it was a facebook website simultaneously but the most important part what we found was people were not asking for the registration they were fed up with the registration so we have not kept any registration just click it make on start interacting that was the model we accepted and that worked very well and probably the tromacon was also done by susrut babulkar on that model that no uh, registration we don't need your email id we don't need your mobile number we don't need your detail just click and join us delegate faculty suggested new topics dr chandak sir dr vikas agase tanna sir all the friends churned a lot for not discuss subject like compartment syndrome fat embolism uh, like uh, this uh, vec about the vac everything about the vac so many new topics and there were suggestion of having the out of box thinking series lateral thinkers all the lateral thinkers have put their case so now it was shifted to more to the case discussion so we started with this uh, case discussion but in between there was a demand that it should not be only orthopedics it should be other than the orthopedics so we had a fantastic program with dr jain asis jain and others dr patil and uh, dr rahul uh, tanga and our harsha nishit sha uh, and everybody and dr pandit sir where we discuss about the fitness during the corona and that was very much important as everybody has suggested yoga and fitness which was a part of our uh, uh, routine in uh, this lockdown period delegate faculty suggested to a discussion in the most practical more real life challenges can be discussed by the case discussion only so we moved to started the master case series master presents his case and we learn out of that so we started with the master case series the where the master is presenting we learn together and we can question them the beauty was there was no time limit no case was left without the deep discussion and here uh, tanna sir has given a great input in each and every point with the literature support and what what is right practically and what what are the logical options all the options were discussed very well started each state faculty also the state faculty also asked that we we need a platform so please include us so we did with the, almost all the state faculty uh, this program of the case discussion then we had a demand from the young uh, energetic uh, faculty so we developed the program of stand up and speak up those who never speak up is stand up and speak up new faculty development has been done and platform was given and we came to know that many young orthopedic surgeons they are doing a fantastic work at the periphery but they do not have a platform to share and they said it very well and you can see here the stand up speak up faculty series 4 so multiple uh, webinars on stand up speak up was was done and it was moderated by a senior faculty and we the, everybody was happy but ultimately everybody said everything has been done dil mange more for innovation dr virendra kadian from the hansi a remote place a taluka place in the haryana he said that i am able to i will be able to give you a live surgery this was a new idea then i i checked about the technicality how to do so i asked him that you must have a good 100 mbps uh, line in your operation theater i have to put three or four cameras in the different views and these are the settings and uh, i, I uh, discuss with tanna sir and everybody he is a great surgeon so i did a three demo surgery one tibia nail one femur nail and one bipolar and i recorded it where the camera should be where it should be and ultimately we could do a live surgery with the moderation by dr dd talna sir chandak sir yogesh parik sir and dawal bhai and this went like anything if you see the facebook immediately 6.1 k uh, means 6100 people has seen this it was a very difficult case and we could show them just like they are in the theater you, you can see that the tip of the nail which was going to be removed that that was a broken implant and he could demonstrate very well with the camera camera were there and i was managing the camera from my 
Zoom itself. So we developed the technology that we can have a good quality, HD quality with a good transmission where we can have exactly see exactly live surgery. So we do not require uh, other facilities or more cost. So I'm very much thankful to all for your support and love. I'm really touched by your blessings and uh, your support. Thank you all, sir. I want to add here. Yes, sir. We need one, one webinar on a um, PowerPoint. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think it was a fascinating webinar. We yes. Uh, Dr. Dr. Dhiren Ganjwala and Dr. Jawar Jetwa had taken a part because they are very much masters in the uh, PowerPoint and making the animations. So I have advised him to take a small, small task and do because in, in a, this webinar, people cannot do exactly the in the speed that they do. It should be in the small group with the computers on there. They have done, they share their screen what they have done, what are the mistakes done. So we'll do that. We have already planned that, sir, in a series of how to use the PowerPoint with the Dhiran Ganjwala and Dr. Jawar Jetwa. To see that it is, if I remember the, the whole number is 41. Yeah. Am I right? 41 number? Yeah, 41 number, sir. Yes. I, I, have sent, I have sent you the video, sir. I know. I think it is one of the fantastic, fantastic webinar on PowerPoint. How I think you, me, Santaram, Chandog, all of us are using PowerPoint, but I have to still improve that PowerPoint. In fact, I think it is really worth seeing it. But sir, I must congratulate you that from the scratch, you, you are a great learner. You ask every day something new to me. <laughs> what to do, what to do here, what to do here. And uh, you become the master of uh, Zoom and everything, sir. <laughs> Ashok, are you there on the webinar live? <clears throat> your comments? Um, Papa? I'm here, sir. Yeah, yeah. So your comments and uh, your experiences, can you share a few of them? Of course, you have a wide experience. I think Ortho TV he, has... He made... has a larger experience than us, sir. Yes, sir. And, uh, and therefore... Get... It, it is very rare that Ashok speaks somewhere in the webinar. So let us uh, get your viewpoints, Ashok. But he doesn't himself speak as such. Yeah, so but he, he we, we invite him to speak to you. To hear you. Yeah. You heard us all the time. Yeah. So Ashok, can you come? Yeah, I'm here, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your experiences of actually you made everything available in the educational world to all the orthopedic surgeons free of cost. That is a great contribution to orthopedic uh, field. Great, I think great. any book we want to refer, any paper we want to refer, if you just post a photograph and next day we get the article. That is uh, exemplary service. So can you just uh, speak a few words how you could uh, do this? I would say this. I think it's also TV and Geo, whatever, hey, Navin, these are the two sides where you can learn every orthopedic, whatever you need, you need to learn what everybody has done it in COVID. So I feel probably next five years, you may not have to go and attend any of those meetings. Just open up those things by, by, by Navin and by Ashok, and you will be able to learn anything and everything. On yes, ev ev everything is available. And, and the Susrut and the Ashok has managed single-handedly complete trauma con full day or the case yes. discussion with the multiple international faculty. It is very difficult to adjust everybody's timing and everything. Yes, TraumaCon was also a virtual conference. Yeah. And again, uh, uh, all over the world. People and let, let me say that, let me say that the Gujarat Orthopedic Association uh, with the uh, Geriatric Orthopedic Society, we are doing GosiCon uh, virtually because it was allotted to us. Dr. Uh, Deepak Dave was the organizing secretary. Mm -hmm. But uh, this time it is not possible. So it is shifted next year. But we are doing virtual uh, within a one month in the December 11, 12, uh, 10, 11, 12. And we have already sent the brochure. And Gujarat Orthopedic also, we are doing five, six, seven uh, virtual digital conference. And I will hand over my charge to the next president uh, virtually only. Okay. You Thank will you. hand over or you will continue because it has been continued? No, no, sir. Five, six, seven, it will be our Gujarat Orthopedic virtual conference. Because and virtually, I will hand over to them. Because this year has to be a zero year. Right? No, 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 sir. We, we have already passed the resolution, sir. We have passed the resolution, sir. No, no, no. He is not so power hungry. He is going to get a next power again. <coughs> so, thank you so much. If and uh, you know that Promacon webinar which was done by Ashok, how many attended? 
Any idea, Dr. Mahajan, how many attended that, that webinar? You are, you are, you are muted. You are muted. You are muted, Mahajan. Huh? No, I think, but we enjoyed all the webinars, whatever it was there. Do you have any idea? All these no. webinars we have attended was 5,000, 6,000. Oh my God. Almost 60, 60,000. 60, more than, more than. I think that's the biggest issue. I don't see anywhere in the world. More than 60,000 uh, yes, yes. got the trauma con. From the world attended that trauma con. I think it was something unbelievable. Yes. Ashok told me that figure. But I think it was something terrific. Yes, unbelievable. Yeah. Yes, yes, around really more than in, in our record in our recordings, we get more than three lakhs clicks. Yeah. Because all eighty-four webinars we have uh, compiled in the recordings, and in the recording one uh, page only, you get all the links. Yeah. And there we got uh, more than three lakhs uh, clicks, and yeah. it is continuously I, people I, are seeing. Yeah. I mean, so, how many orthopedic surgeons are there in India? Orthopedic surgeons are around 25,000, but a Dr. Ashok is helping to spread it to 25, 26,000 on his Facebook group, uh, that is uh, Ortho TV group. So it, it goes to Bangladesh, it goes to pa Pakistan, everywhere it goes. And the one surgeon sees the repeated time, they yeah. see in the chunks, they do not see completely. So the clicks are not the actual uh, orthopedic surgeons. They must have seen 20 times, same thing, same surgeon must have done. So it will be around 10,000 or 20,000 orthopedic surgeons has viewed it. That is that is the, what the rough I have calculated. Yeah, Taral, you wanted to say? Uh, I just wanted to say something. And uh, of course, we are looking at effect of these webinars, you know, the work which Naveen has done, Ashok has done in our country, saying that, you know, so many people were educated. I was, I have two, three males, you know, from Dror Pele. And, uh, you know, once uh, he wrote to me that he saw POSI webinar on congenital sodathrosis of tibia. And he said that I can improvise on this and give me a chance. So, which just means to say that even Pale was taking note of what is happening in India. And then I've had interaction with several people. Uh, India, you know, it has put Indian orthopedic education in a completely different light. What you have done today. It's not restricted to orthopedic surgeons in India, people from Indonesia, you know, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Eastern Europe countries, UK, US, and, you know, there are a number of people who are watching this webinar. And I mean, though you say that you kept it open and there was no registration, if you had registration, you would have known from different parts of the world how people are, you know, looking at India in a different light. So but that's the, which the, but the Google Google shows, says the analysis of from which country they have clicked. Okay. So that that sure. we get the flags we get. And yeah. exactly you said when we were doing the giant cell tumor, we were not knowing the very intelligent questions were coming from the audience. So I thought this is a very something new ideas are coming. That must this must be a, some faculty or a researcher. So right. I immediately wrote he, it was anonymous. So I wrote, uh, sir, uh, uh, can you join us as a faculty? Because I think you are a faculty. Then he wrote, yes, I am Dr. Sekar Kunta from Hong Kong. Yes. <laughs> and suddenly he lost the line. Otherwise, he would, he would have joined as a faculty. I immediately make them uh, send the link that you become the faculty. Because we, we are here to learn. Uh, who comes is not important. What comes is more important. Thank you so much uh, with that lovely discussion. And uh, may I invite now Unmesh Mahajan to please share the learnings from lockdown and the way he utilized the lockdown. And after that, we have a real-time expression of the use of webinars by two persons who keenly watched many of these webinars, possibly all of them. And then after Unmesh, we'll be having them. So Unmesh, can you please start? Uh, yeah, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. Tanna, sir. And Dr. Shetty, sir, I'm really a small person to guide anything about life lessons, but I'll make a small uh, few notes here. Am I audible? Yes, yes. Yes, can yes. Hear everything me. is okay, okay, sir. Yeah. Uh, COVID and life. It affected every part of life. Personal life, professional life, financial aspect, workplace relationship, patient-doctor relationships, and the new normal, what we call, is the shit we are in. And that's why we are through this web. I think we are uh, connecting to each other. Uh, let's go one by one. Professional. I think as Dr. Tandasar said very rightly, it's a reversal of patient and time dynamics. Initially, we had no time, more patients. Now we have extra time on hand. 
as a rare for any busy surgeon i think dr uh, tanna sir shetty sir and dr chandak and vasu garigore sir must have thinking of why should i have no more hours like more than 24 hours but now they have really difficult to do what to do with this time i think we are confused with uh, extra time what is happening so i think with the uh, extra time on hand and it's really confusing for a busy surgeon what to do now i am really i am used to operating and i don't have any patient so webinar came to rescue i think is increase the knowledge absolutely free of cost as everyone said before this i'll just mention few points uh of course dr navin thakkar was a pioneer in starting webinars and we should thank him for that so it was no loss of revenue to gain knowledge previously to gain knowledge we have to go to conferences and on the day of conference going we must have two three admissions who we feel really bad to lose and we have to say no i'm going out somewhere so there is no loss of revenue to gain knowledge here no travel excellent update of subjects of one choice you can choose a subject of your choice and have a knowledge update in the comfort of home with interaction with international faculty and national faculties like i can talk to any big faculty member sitting within my uh, 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 comfort level and i'll be very happy to do that why not and you have a switch on switch of facility where you can do some other small work and come back and join again and learn things about it it's a innovative talks lot of talks were innovative lot of subjects were innovative and of course speaker ki khoj talent search i think you have searched lot of talent across india where, where they could have a real uh, platform and i think for many speakers it was local to global so local to global was a phenomenon where everyone could connect globally i think with all thanks to dr navin thakkar and his team and making things ashok sham as well to make it really go global for india so i think that was webinar was really really great but overall there are some small downside to webinars in certain aspect too much too many you don't have time to speak to so many people you have to can't attend so many things sometime it encroaches family time wife nagging about why you're only always on the when you're locked down you're still on the uh, computer <laughs> and children ignoring your father is always on the thing something like that frustration of inability to apply gain knowledge suppose i know something to do but i don't have patience to go go for that भी happens in converse are isko bhi aata nahi dikhata hai ye ha so the back seat pitching is really something which enjoy occasionally so that is not ever but overall it was a great experience to have webinars but that is one of the good and bad part of webinars but it was great thanks dr thakkar for that next comes the financial aspect we all most of us know how to earn without knowledge of investment blindly follow investment consultant at dr tanna sir said never put real mind into what is is due to lack of time we never never thought how to invest i got a chance to look at it into it and realize that we are taken for a ride by so called asset management companies first time took things into hand and getting more return than amc and i realize that what sir said very rightly they are always making mistakes and you never get returns with amcs so good opportunity to learn finances was a good part of covid because when you have less money coming you know how to save and how to earn out of what you have so it's a good part where you can learn about finances and get going with it next finances you have to understand asset allocation what you asset how much where to go what to do i realize that real estate management is also important because if suppose i die tomorrow i don't know my way whether my wife can sell so many flats plot and all those things so this time is a consolidation is a theme you should consolidate your property in such a way that you can hand over a folder to your wife or children and say okay you look into this you'll be fine don't worry so haphazard thinking is not good consolidation is a theme for finances in long term will for a family is very important will a lot of people live a lot of things without a will without notification and then it's a big disarray with the family they don't get what they deserve so will is the important part of the family make sure it's easy for the family in case of tragedy financial security post us post us is important lesson in covid since the threat is so real and so close it is not away from us we don't know whether tomorrow when one of us can be one of the victims so it is so close and so real that we have to learn all those things 
importance how understanding how it is required for survival as everyone said we earn so much we work so much i don't know what to do with that money now like you can't eat that money every day oh, what you eat is dal roti and that's a basic thing what you read every day so how much we earn extra and at what cost is a topic to discuss in and think actually in long term it's not it's not only uh, logical or it's not, or philosophical it's actually true it's actually true A lot of people who have earned so much, their son don't require, their daughter don't require anything. It's a complete waste of our efforts, and we don't realize unless we are at the end, fag end of it. So finances, we should look into it. Next comes the personal front. When the debt is on the doorstep, we so it brings the people very close. You know, debt was very real in the in the on the doorstep for everyone. Feeling was better expressed. You can talk to your wife more better because now really you realize, okay, I may not be tomorrow. I may not be next month. Lockdown post. You did tell everything to your wife, no? Yes. <laughs> All your things you did tell, no? <laughs> Lockdown forces us to be with the family by default. Now that default makes us closer. New phone conversation was the essence of pandemic. You could talk to families which you never talked before. Long last chance of being with son and daughter was real pleasure. At least for parent like us, because the daughter was away, she came, she stayed for in the house for six to eight months. So we had enjoyed good time. I'm not sure about their part of it, but I'm sure they may have been nagged by us. But we enjoyed their stay in the hospital in the house. New found respect and love for mates. Very much. Flight for hard work was realized in bones and tissue. You clear house once and you realize how painful it is. So the new found flight for them and new found respect <laughs> and love is very very important. and you start respecting them because we never we took them for granted actually we took a lot of things granted so that's on personal front less on the work front somehow i never stopped working in lockdown because it's my own place it's more secure there's no general hospital so i was only orthopedic i did all who came for surgery in terms of my joints in terms of those with the stress fractures hip bad bad hips and all those things of course with all the risk all the proper precautions i did tkr and thr of course with all precautions coming to my place was coming from a brain because something you own is going to that place is something okay i am going there i am there very much there people around me so it gives a feeling of normalcy and not being at home is always something really difficult to sit at home all the day so could engage with staff in more constructive way devise many standard operating procedure many things which were on the back burner so it was time we utilized to understand how the nursing home my own hospital can work better than what it was before because i was really busy all the time one i got one of the ot renewed by people who came from bombay stayed with the hospital and so all the things were sorted out new ot and purchase software installed moles were identified i could identify people who were bad in the hospital and fired them so cost effective ways identified due to time and time on covid so in effect it was productive in many ways now i think the patient doctor relationship change really bad in uh, good and bad in a uh, this particular pandemic it's been roller coaster first no one believed there's a corona then they believed there's a corona and there came begging for care in terms of hospital bed sir admission kara do kahin to job bed la do and all those things suddenly they start having anger for anger for bills all against doctor all of us saying we are not personally responsible but it came to all doctors then they came to shift home quarantine and they now realize it's a conspiracy by doctor to earn money and there was no corona so all this Take a actually a roller coaster for all of us in terms of patient doctor relationship, and still patient believes that a lot of things have been mad made, doctor made, and they were supposed to be treated home quarantine, were shifted to hospital. Of course, these are the views of people who never lost anyone. These are not the views of people who lost someone. They must be really, really appreciative of all the things what we did. But this was a patient doctor relationship, and this is going to stay for a long, long time about a lot of bills, corona anger, and what has happened. now emotional encounters we all have a emotional encounter with anxiety what will happen depression uncertainty fear of losing someone because someone very close to you dead vulnerability by patients and by other staff members comfort that okay i am good i don't have to worry i have my content i have my money i am everything living very well behind me relief that i am not infected content and peace that i have in everything in my life what is ethical logical and good so i can go i think that all feelings must have gone through everyone that okay i did everything what is right wrong everything but of course all behind this was anxiety that tomorrow may i be there may i not be there may i be infected so to all this emotions 
we have a solutions and of course everyone talked about i think the first thing like i used to get up at 5 o'clock in every morning to go for surgery my first surgery always started 5:30 now suddenly i have no work what to do it's so empty mind so frustrating where my patients gone what i'm going to do what is going to happen so meditation yoga really came to my rescue and i think thanks to dr chandak sir introducing a good yoga instructor who really gave me a piece of mind in terms of getting the balance right so you can think logic better of course meditation yoga can take a lot of uh, worries out healthy diet quit bad habits cherish what you have i think this is the big learn everyone said about it but cherish what you have enjoy today you never know what tomorrow this was only on books but now it was real in front of you everyone around you you know you were so close to us enjoy and hope that good karma hopes to return with blessings because whatever counted was blessings at the end money never mattered to many people who died they have so much of it but unfortunately the blessing was short for them unfortunately they have to go but so we still believe that now the corona can teach us be logical be ethical immorality will never give anything good you don't require that money for being immoral or being unethical and wait for a destiny to take its own turn and hope that we all are safe so take home messages it was a dress rehearsal for requirement for many people i observed for financial management more proactive family time and dialogues which we never initiated coping with what to do when practice slums in future like i we used to operate so much every day and really are patient where are gone sir was sir said at his age he feels what our age we feels completely different so i think we have to understand how to cope with the mechanism where things will go gradually life is going to go less the practice is going to go less so understanding and implementing healthy lifestyle and healthy diet imports of staff and help working for you i think parity of thoughts for respecting any work is very important you realize how maid or sisters board boys everyone helps in getting you what you are and you just thought them are so negligible in your life but they are very important so make sure you have thoughts of respect every person and bringing back on ground if any high flyers i think that's the biggest thing whoever thinks he is invincible is back on ground saying please save me from corona i think small microbes can change a huge hedge hell lot of it into you so thank you so much i think the small messages from me hope it takes you a small lesson what we learned sir good nice thank you thank you so much unmesh tanna sir wants to come in uh, can i comment on this he talked yes i think those of you who are listening or those who have i had made a bill which was existing for last 10 years in this corona i thought i we write the bill and then i spoke to the specialist who are doing the bill now in my will i had written that my x money should go to my so and so staff so and so staff so and so staff so and so staff so and so relative so and so relative about 15 people who were there who i had written in my will this money should go and the rest of the money should go to my wife and my children and x y z now it went to the specialist and since my money is managed by those two people i went it went to the specialist and specialist immediately phoned me up he said sir you know what you have done if this will after you die when it goes this will be all those 20 people will be the beneficiary even if they are beneficiary the 0.002% of your wealth but they will be the one who can drop the whole thing going to your wife to your wife and your children so he says you can't write a bill like this if, if your your family will be in trouble if you put a bill like this it will go for a probate it will take years together and your children or your wife won't get that money so i think it was an eye opener for me so ultimately i i rewrote the bill where everything goes to my wife and my wife dies everything goes to my children 50 50 full stop and he he advised me all those others whom you want to give the money you write a wish list or you handle them outside but yes. don't put it officially in the will yes. you can write it to the will you you can you can put it down in the wish list which your children or your wife will do it but if it is in the will then it is going to be officially that driver whom you have written x amount of money is equally sharing your your daughter who is carrying a 50% of your money so don't do that it is a stupidity to do this and i am going to warn all of you that if ever you have made a bill make it an official in a way where the people who are really professional who will advise you so my bill new bill went up and down 
uh, the web again and again and they modified it and ultimately it was made it where it is supposed to be full pro yes sir yes sir 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 i exactly remember tanna sir you discuss all these things when we were going to rajkot to jamnagar in the goa con conference yeah. you said all this that I, i want to do like this i want to do like this but i was not knowing legally what is right but uh, this is i open it to us also yeah so don't yeah, thing you know i just want to add to what dr tanna sir said is that people who have helped us who have been good to us if you want to help them do it when you are alive rather than when you are dead exactly yeah. Same thing. I now they are there. They are useful to me. They are very useful to me. I hunted out those who had left the job. X amount of money we wanted to give. Us for daily. I know. Yes, Sankar, if you want to say something. No, 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 no. You are. You brought out a very, very good point because our Mangalore lawyers are very good lawyers. Supposed to be even in the Supreme Court. Sir, sir, sir. So, sir, so uh, this time, hey, 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 hey. No. I wanted to mention about uh, what uh, Dr. Tanna said. It is right. The, any any will has to be very simple, simple in a, in that it should not be complicated. As he rightly said, if you complicate into many many branches, then any everyone has a right to right right on that particular will. So it is it is it is the wife and children that you will have to do. And then, as you rightly said, you distribute whatever you want in a separate piece of paper, not a registered will, and. you before before as as such it's a very good point which you have mentioned which sir, has... sir tanna sir uh, this, is, this is to have a peaceful mind is it right no no, no, no. it has to be without a will you no, can't no, no, no. the wife he yes. said my advisor told me with this thing your wife will not get that money to leave at the moment yes. okay yes. Yes. that is your your intention was to have a peace at the end that's all yeah yeah, yeah. no no yes. no intention was oh, this are the this... people who have created wealth for me like oh. as you mentioned my staff and everybody but as santaram very rightly mentioned give them outside the will don't yes, put them yes, inside yes. the will that's right yes. तो हाने संत तुकाराम सेड याजा साठी केला होता अठास शेवटचा दिस गोड व्हावा आणि आखरी का दिन ये मीठा होना चाहिए ये आपकी तमन्ना है एग्जैक्टली exactly. yes thank you very much thank you very much for that really enlightening uh, piece of information so if you need any any karma go back and correct it it will take two weeks to three weeks for you to really form it into the proper way by the experts right and can i invite now uh, dr mukesh shah to please share his experiences mukesh can you share your experiences yes sir thank you yeah, yeah. uh first of all i thank uh, ortho team dr neeraj and dr sham and not to forget dr navin to provide me this opportunity to talk to all of the all of you i'm a, i'm a small drop in the ocean of the giants on the screen so just pardon me if i talk something little less or whatever uh first of all uh, what i'm going to share what i felt during this covid time a lot of things have been told told by our senior teachers especially tanna sir and uh, santaram sethi sir uh and dr taral of course they pointed out very good points that uh, what you uh, what you got in a lot lottery like things in this covid is that you could enjoy the nature you could uh, enjoy your personal life what tanna sir said he could see the the sunset in from right from his balcony and uh, dr taral uh, what he is doing is a great thing uh, in his farm that you grow your own uh, food and you eat it so absolute hygienic and absolutely nutritious something to learn from dr taral and uh, these are the things and uh, what dr tanna sir said about the reading you got opportunity to uh, read lot of things which you are missed because you are working till late nights and you, when you reach home your children are sleeping and your wife is nagging you that what what sort of things are going on and when you are working you don't don't see all this thing what you see is only your practice then any aaj a patient chala jayega aisa aaj so jaldi iska operation nahi kiya to patient bhag jayega so you know what uh, what you are doing all this life is uh, running around your practice and accumulating money and then as dr tanna sir said in the fake end of your life you know uh, 
you realize that uh, when whatever whatever you have earned which has been not utilized that was your uh, extra work that you did in your life you know you should not have done that that you realize at the end of the life we itna kaam to nahi karna tha apne ko we should have enjoyed the life rather than go on working from morning 5 o'clock to 10 o'clock in the night but to summarize uh, my talk i have written down few points unfortunately i was traveling from india to us when i got a message from navin so i did not get much time uh, to prepare the slides and all those please pardon me for that so i just instead actually i just wrote it down pen down some points the first thing that i realized that is the classroom learning has now shifted to distance learning and uh, what tanna sir said that he realized that you know till this life he has run around for 20 minutes talk he traveled for 2 3 days and spend a uh, lot of money and then he just gave 20 minutes talk where 30 40 people were attending in the audience hall instead that when in this webinar 5 6000 or 10000 people are listening connection gone i think he has lost connection connection yeah uh, no no problem i think he would join back by the time uh, dr indra gupta you also enjoyed the webinar so much that uh, i was told that you have taken out lot of notes and learnings from this webinar so can i invite you dr indra uh, please unmute yourself and yes. uh, yeah can you share your screen if you wish to uh, please go ahead green button share screen yeah you have a help also for fantastic yeah so he expressed that he has had lot of learnings and the advantages of distance learning he is going to give uh, first of all let me introduce myself i am a primary care orthopedic surgeon practicing orthopedics for the last 30 years now in a small town hisar i am basically dealing with primary care orthopedic surgeries only and i thank you for giving me this opportunity to be the part of this highly academic platform i i was in fact surprised to get a call from dr navin and then by dr chandra that i'll be part of this team and it goes without and my topic was how did dr this... indra gupta every webinar you ask the questions you you are interacting a lot <laughs> Uh, uh, I was given the topic. Thank you, sir. I was given the topic that how did these webinars help me? In fact, perhaps this uh, this question was to to the orthopedic surgeons working in periphery. So I am kind of representing the different orthopedic surgeons working under strain. Then it goes without saying that the difficult period of lockdown was made great learning opportunity for both young and experienced surgeon like me. it not only updated the recent advances in orthopedics but also helped in improving surgical skills i i'll, I'll give you few small examples as well although we have been listening to these tall words like what to name I, a lot of people so these tall words in different conferences workshops and uh, other other platforms but it was wonderful experience to listen to them in the comfort of your own bedroom and on a large screen moreover you could pause the lectures rewind them listen to them again at your own convenient time so and because the recording is my power uh, dr shah will be having you back again don't worry yeah sorry uh, i yeah, i lost no, my no. power battery yeah, i'm yeah, sorry yeah no problem dr Thank indra you. gupta is presenting right now dr uh, indra gupta I, can you click on the next slide please yes sir and i i would like to present few examples and they are what i have learned <clears throat> the following and this is disclaimer the following slides are not for teaching or learning purpose these are to show how and what i learned from these webinars these are few examples only which i could pick off hand otherwise i almost revise my whole of what i have limited knowledge my orthopedics the first of all uh, i like to i like to mention that i i i learned how to make an antibiotic nail because there are different methods of treating non infected onion which we come across quite oftenly and say something like elizero or other methods and every time i i was thinking about antibiotic nail i was i was worried about the debonding of the cement while removing it or putting it so i got this idea of shingling 
I added I added few more points like I did multiple holes as you can see in this picture the first picture multiple holes from my my local vendor and I I put this dental wire the thin dental wire around this nail leaving these first two holes and last two holes empty for locking I this was a nail and as we don't have those those uh, uh, exterminators as we have in west those tubes. So I just made it from a simple tube, and I measured this diameter after making it. Uh, after making it, I measured this diameter through the measuring gauge. It was 10, 11, 10, 10 mm. So I reamed it up to 10 mm. I I put it in, and when I exchanged it, I mean when I took it out in the next surgery, it was something like this. There was no debonding at all. Need no debonding at all at any point. So. Then about the, the other things like junctional fracture of the long bones it has been taught in, in one of the webinars that I, I, was, I was always doing uh, interlocking nails only, whether DFN or PFN. So I, I learned a lot about this junctional, junctional fracture. I was, I'm, I'm going to be more careful in treating junctional fractures now. So then about the trimalleolar fractures. So sometimes I used to open it up posterior laterally and last of all, I, I used to put uh, the medial malleolus. Now I'm putting my patient in a floppy lateral position so that uh, once I have difficulty, of course, these are two different x-rays. They're two different patients. When, whenever I have difficulty in reducing the posterior malleolus or the lateral malleolus, I have to flip off and open the medial malleolus and then again fix up the, uh, temporarily fix up the medial malleolus and go back to posterior malleolus. Similarly, in CTV, I was perhaps not doing it correctly, or perhaps I had a lot of lot of improvement uh, scope. So I happened to see all these webinars and and different stalwarts from all over the world, and I I I try to learn Ponsetti in a in a better way and in a convenient way. And about the proximal femur. So the reduction is the most important. I have started spending more time in reduction, maybe with steenman pain, levers and all. And the anterior and the medial part is the most important. And I focus on positive reduction anteriorly and medially. These are from my library. Then about the lateral work, whether to fix it or not to fix it, I have been through that in a webinar on the debate whether to fix it or not fix it. I, I critically analyze now and whether I fix it with trochanteric plate as suggested by a lot of speakers like Dr. Davin, Dr. Tana, sir, and, and uh, Dr. Ganjale, so, and others. So, and I'm, I'm, I learned about wiring as well. And I, and I, I learned about the nail used as lateral wall. About the distal end of radius and how to avoid the FPL injury later on, a delayed FPL injury, the putting on plate, the changing the design of plate, and there are certain other approaches okay. other than FCR. I have been using FCR exclusively, FCO approach for for approaching the more 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 medial part of the distal radius. I'm not naming any author or speaker. Because if I, I name them, I'll be missing a lot more than not more. So about the radial head and neck fracture, I am rather more confident in dealing with radial head and neck fracture after listening to this kind of... This radius. is from Dr. Randy Bindra. Of course, I remember this. I am not mentioning it uh, for, for the purpose that I'll be missing more speakers. Dr. Yeah. Randy, yeah, I have watched his videos as well, the, the further links. So then... then Pediatric elbow, I, 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 I'm not mentioning the present speaker as well. So I'm more careful about this because there are a lot of confusion about the diagnosis of especially this fracture here. These are two different patients. So somebody tell, tells me this is medial condyle. Let me, I, and and I, I learned it from this webinar only. It was a supracondylar fracture. It was a supracondylar fracture, which was easily reduced and fixed with two KVs. And now I have a better understanding of the elbow injury, not missing Montagia lesions and fresh lesions and those uh, lateral condyle lesions. 
than about uh, a webinar day one failure. Huh? So I'm more critical about seeing the final image on my CM or X-ray picture in my operating room only. This is my own case patient. I, I failed to plan it. I failed to execute it. And I knew that it is, I never knew it, it's going to be failure. So that this failure could have been easily rectified either by suprapetalar approach, which, which I've been seeing it in webinars or a polar screw or additional plate, whether it is temporary or permanent along with nail or a compression screw along with nail. And perhaps this, this problem was solved with the interfragmentary compression screw and a neutralization plate ultimately. I think I should stop short here, short, short here. Otherwise, there are a lot more things to be said about these webinars. And I humbly request and appeal to all these uh, administrators, but please don't stop these webinars as then they should continue because of because we people sitting far away, we learn a lot and you are spreading and teaching the orthopedic knowledge all around. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Inder Gupta. You give for all sharing. the illustrations where you learned everything. Yes, yes. <laughs> thank you so much. And now we will have a group discussion and Dr. Shah can also share his experiences also. And we can have a group discussion. So all Shall I go ahead? Yeah, yeah. Please, sir. Please. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. My... We, we would make it interactive to be... Uh, yeah. So I just finished him two, three minutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just uh, got my power off yeah, laptop no off and then could not. So what I was telling was that what I learned was that this is the uh, classroom learning has gone to now distant learning. And uh, what Tanas have very rightly pointed out uh, regarding the same. Uh, in these webinars, we have learned a lot of new techniques, especially just like a few minutes before Dr. Inda Gupta showed how to avoid uh, cement leaking in a antibiotic coated nail, like there are so many things, you know, new techniques like uh, reduction techniques, dot stick techniques, then holding the things. Tanasar, someone's once in one seminar, uh, he showed if your IITV is going off, then what will you do in a talking lane? And he has a very wonderful technique he has showed in his book also, that how you could finish up interlock uh, by when your IITV is not working with you. So we can narrate number of uh, techniques like this but this is that what we learned from these webinars and uh, we also came to know about the newer technologies like you know the um, techniques of robotic techniques and uh, navigation techniques in placements and like that so many newer things which we are not knowing just because we were all busy in practice and we we're not able to attend uh, the uh, conferences all the time so we could learn learn these things in one year which we could have learned in 15, 20 years. So thanks to uh, Naveen. So he has compiled and compressed the whole education in such a way that uh, this webinar has taught us so many things in a short time. Another thing which I observed was the communication. Uh, we could communicate and discuss so many uh, things with the our learned uh, colleagues and teachers and the uh, people who were you are not able to meet them personally and they have a lot of things to teach you show you the things that we could learn from these webinars otherwise uh, it would have been difficult to learn all these things in a such a short span of time one of the important things which i learned is online consultations which we never used to do this uh, covid has taught us uh, the how you can uh, do online consultations and can uh, keep on working right sitting at your home in your office at you can just make a small office or even from your work even home place so the online consultation has uh, make you live in this uh, covid time and could satisfy all the work which we could not do it in office we could do it on online this definitely has uh, decreased the distance between the doctor and patient See, you, when you operate some patient and when next day he calls you, sir, I have a hair, I have a hair, I have a hair, I have a hair, so what I used to tell, I used to tell him, I used to tell him, so instead of that, simply just tell him that you just make a video call and uh, he just makes a video call, show the part and then you can advise. So this has definitely make you more closer to the patients and patients are also very happy with a simple two minutes of your video call and patients are happy because sir, I have seen it, 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 I have seen
जाना आना भी नहीं पड़ा और अपना काम हो गया सो दैट इज समथिंग यू नो विच एज गिवन अस दिस बैड कोविड टाइम and we have got opportunity to learn from masters like tanna sir and uh, santaram sir and the senior teachers all other senior teachers and especially overseas faculties we could not get time to go to these places and learn the things and those people have taught us on computers uh, right from distant places so overseas faculties learning was really a great boon great i would say ashirwad ki shakai apne you can tell is a great great uh, things in our life another thing again uh, thanks to navin that we have learned a lot of about computers we were i mean i have i was not very much computer savvy not using my comp- laptop before this and then now uh, once we started attending this webinars now we have become computer savvy and learn how to share the screen ye button dabao ye button dabao jo navin ne sikhaya sabko to we have learned then now how love you have learned how to make पावर प्रेजेंटेशन हाउ टू मेक गुड पावर प्रेजेंटेशन एंड देन इन पावर प्रेजेंटेशन में आपको कैसे सब लोगोज रखना है सब अपनी शॉर्ट फिल्म रखनी है वीडियोज रखनी है तो ये दिस आर दिंग्स विच यूर लर्न इन दिस कोविड टाइम दिसलाइज दिस इन सच अः वी कुड लर्न दिस वी कुड लर्न मोर अबाउट द डायग्नोसिस एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द थिंग्स विच वी आर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वन राइट फ्रॉम डिफरेंट patients especially the case discussion these webinars were one of the very nice thing which we could learn we could learn a uh, lot of mistakes that we were doing in our operative procedures and uh, like you know our uh, day one failures and all those things you know the case discussion has taught us the so many good things that uh, when you do that particular case you remember this this was the things dr tanasar has said bhi aap aisa mat karo ye mat karo so you know you know the case presentation has taught us lot of things one more thing which i noticed is the the learning about the superficiality we have got lot of superficiality like hand foot and ankle and arthroscopy arthroplasty and spine so in when like i am a general orthopedic surgeon so we are not very much uh, in a knowledge of this super speciality the webinars have taught us all different things medical and non medical and in medical mein super speciality ka jo hamara knowledge hai it has gone up like this you know yeah. because uh, we were otherwise not coming across to this type yeah. of onco orthopedics and all those things so that is what we have learned thank you so and, much and uh, and one of the things which we have learned is the operative live sessions especially edited videos so that's all what i have learned and uh, uh, thank you navin once again and wish you all all of people um, around all orthopedic surgeons my happy diwali and uh, let us follow the santaram sir's uh, lesson of following the principle of karma thank you thank you once again Thank, thank you, Dr. Shah. You joined from USA and uh, you narrated yeah. all your experiences. Thank you so much. And uh, any inputs, Dr. Tanna sir or Dr. Tan Shantaram Shetty sir would like to give, and then we'll be closing this session. Uh, he mentioned about uh, karma. There are yes, three sir. yogas: karma yoga, dharma yoga, and dana yoga. So these are the three yogas if we practice every day. Karma is our work. Dana is our knowledge which we acquire from everyday life and and webinars like this. and finally the dharma yoga yes, it is sir, dharma yes, that we that if we, we follow the dharma we will be a perfect individual that is what we should follow and this uh, webinars have really helped us and each one of us as uh, anup rightly put it with the each one one of us have learned a lot thank you very much uh, dr tanna dr uh, indra gupta dr navin dr chandak and dr uh, gadgone sir and uh, ashok sham and uh, dr chandak thank you very much indeed yeah, thank you thank you so much and ashok you would like to say something we all would tanna, like to listen to you tanna, tanna sir wants to say I yeah tanna sir tanna sir you want to say scriptures it is so beautifully mentioned out of all the dan which you give nan dan is supposed to be the imms yes, the top yes. one which i think knowingly unknowingly we have been able to give it during this lockdown and the second thing which i have repeated it at times and i will repeat it now when we train so many orthopedic surgeons online it is not that 5000 orthopedic surgeons we we educated but through those 5000 people we have helped 50 crores of people or xyz people all over the country to have a better orthopedics and i feel 
it's staying at home all of us have been able to do this so i think this is the great opportunity each one of us had to really help the common man far off into the village or far off into the things i'll give you a very small example just about 15 days back one of my servants son into that uh, somewhere in bhuvaneshwar far off from bhuvaneshwar he had a accident and he had a fracture i wrote a small note to the orthopedic surgeon concern uh, please do the needful any i'll be grateful if you tell me then orthopedic surgeon phoned me up and he says sir we have learned from you on the online okay now he is so far off into the interior he says i never come to the meetings and all but i have learned so much from the from the from the webinars which you there and i know you very well sir i'll do the best whatever i can do for your servant sir uh, son which is there so i think it is it is helped like this people so many people far off people so probably unknowingly we have been able to help you people yeah thank you thank you very much sir, for all this sir is oddly only possible because of uh, teachers like you to share learn uh, and contribute together otherwise yes. it, it would not been possible yeah yes so, so thanks to all those devoted teachers faculty members everyone who joined and all the delegates for uh, logging in thank you so much all good things have come to an end i have to say something thank you, thank you very yeah, much yeah, yeah. god bless you thank you so much sir thank you and i think we'll be dr ashok final is remaining you ask him so ashok so ashok ashok is uh, logged into tv from morning 7:30 so from 7:30 morning he is on laptop yeah so yeah yeah he wants to excuse himself and uh, he is a silent worker only yes he is he is yes. so his yeah, work yeah. speaks that song yes yes he is a silent this is time hey if you send him an article I want a reprint of this article in two days. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Yeah. Thank you, Ashok, for those those contribution to field of orthopedics and the knowledge update and the knowledge bank you have created. Thank you so uh, much. Actually, I thank everybody, but I thank Shakti sir and Tanna sir. At this age, they are so enthusiastic. Yes. And uh, they are ready to give their wisdom of knowledge, and it's a tremendous gain to our society. and as well as the those who are from the periphery they are getting benefits so thank you thank you i say tala ghar mein bibi to sunti nahi idhar log sunte aapko log aapko log pehle bhi sunte the abhi bhi sunte hai aur kisi ki bibi sunti nahi hai this is the universal truth नहीं तो शंकर भगवान को काय के लिए पर्वत पे जाना पड़ता था वो पार्वत हैप्पी दिवाली टू ऑल हैप्पी दिवाली टू एवरीवन थैंक यू सो मच एंड वी विल बी क्लोजिंग